Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today is August 8th and it's a pretty important day for Sonic the Hedgehog because today is the physical release date for the highly anticipated Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. It's been out a little while already on digital but today is finally the release date for the physical release. Um, depending on where you are in the planet the release date might differ somewhat but today August 8th is the release date for it here in the United Kingdom. So it's been released on DVD, Blu-ray and 4K and you're going to be seeing that as we open the package in front of you here. I managed to pick up the limited edition 4K steelbook of the film. Um, haven't opened it yet, here's the Amazon parcel. Uh, let's get this open because I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like. Okay, let's get this open. Not much packaging, simple stuff from Amazon. And here we go. So pretty awesome stuff. I really love the box art already and that's before we've even got the cellophane off so we can have a proper look at it. Um, the limited steelbook edition for Sonic 2, um, it had a much uh, larger quantity being produced for it as opposed to the uh, limited edition steelbook for the first Sonic film. Paramount weren't going to mess around because they knew there was more money to be made for it. And this was actually in stock uh, on Amazon for quite a little while before it sold out. Um, the steelbook for the very first Sonic film, it sold out really quickly and it's quite expensive to get a hold of now, um, especially uh, here in the UK. Um, so I had to settle for the standard uh, version for the first film, although it is on 4K also. So it's got a sticker on the front here because this does feature the all new animated short featuring Sonic, Towers and Knuckles and that is the only thing on the sticker so let's get the cellophane off and have a proper look of what we've got in here. Okay so here we are with a better look. I've just done a cut there because I'm sure you don't really want to see me fumbling around getting the cellophane off. Um, as with a lot of Steelbook uh, collector's editions you get the this little cardboard sleeve that goes on the back here. A lot of people throw this away when they get these sort of sets but I actually like keeping these um, kind of for novelty purposes really. I've got one with um, the Steelbook uh, version of um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K and that's really awesome too. But on the back of it you actually get um, all the information of the film itself and the stats of what uh, you know the 4k resolution um, HDR etc um, we're gonna have a proper look through inside and outside the case of course and then we're gonna have a look or at least I'm gonna show you some uh, show you some screenshots of the 4k quality and um, give you my verdict on um, whether the 4k transfer is good for this film um, yeah just to start here on the back this is the, the same um, information and everything you've got with all the other versions such as the DVD and um, the Blu-ray release. A perfect family film, really agree with that statement there from uh, was that Peter Beckett, Starburst. Um, I'm not going to read all this out but you can pause it here because the text is pretty clear. Some of the special features you've got here, as I've already said, the only animated short film, 4K Ultra HD, just telling you, you know, 4K, we all, you know, 4K is, you know, four times the resolution, HDR. You've got some bonus features here, Robotnik reimagined with Jim Carrey, definitely interesting to see what that is. The powerful puncher knuckles, deleted scenes, and much more. So, if you're kind of really into, like, behind the scenes sort of stuff with uh, watching some of your favourite films, you might be a little underwhelmed with what this is offering, but um, if you're not really that interested in it, it's a pretty reasonable selection. I'm not really too bothered about... Um, you know behind the scenes sort of work when I watch uh, films maybe the odd occasion but um, I think it's a pretty reasonable amount I can't really remember the difference with what the first film had with special features pretty much the same sort of stuff look to see deleted scenes and bloopers this one actually does have commentary by the director and the voice of Sonic uh, Ben Schwartz does it actually say this one has a commentary by the director although maybe I haven't seen it yet but it doesn't look like it does of course, if you don't own a 4K player or a PS5 or Xbox Series X, this does also come with a Blu-ray disc, um, which I imagine all the special features are on that disc because they only usually put the film itself on the 4K disc. So it's a little bit of fumbling around. Um, but yeah, otherwise, really awesome stuff. PG, mild violence language. 
Okay, so turning it back round, we shall also move the cardboard sleeve over to the side now because we don't need to look at it anymore. Also, if you're curious, we've got like a chow garden essentially behind us, which I've been using to prop the film up while recording because I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, so we've also got an extra plastic sleeve that goes over the actual steelbook, which looks like this for those curious. It has the logo on the bottom there and uh, nothing on the back. And now we get a good look at the still book itself, which looks absolutely awesome. I love this recreation of the obviously very famous Sonic 2 box art. Absolutely love it here. You've got Jim Carrey here at the top. Just, just look how awesome this is. I'm so, so glad I picked this up. On the side here, Sonic Hedgehog 2 logo. And on the back, you've got Sonic and Knuckles. Looking pretty awesome. On the inside, so we've got some advertisement here because you know why not? So, you're gonna need to try to make some money back from uh, Origins, I guess. So, um, here we go uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate, Sonic Origins. I'm not gonna go too much into that, the less said about that game, the better at the moment. Um, Sonic Dash, the mobile games, visit the Sega shop. Pretty cool t shirt there from uh, and, um, Sonic and Towers, it's pretty awesome. On the inside, we've got the discs on to the right, and on the left, we've got uh, Jim Carrey's Robotnik and Knuckles, and of course, on the other side, it's going to have Sonic and Towers underneath the discs. Um, not really much to say about the discs, to be honest with you. I suppose that's a little bit disappointing. They're actually very basic. I mean, it, it's essentially the same on the front and back. You can actually see all the way through it. Um, Obviously, this the only difference is this one's telling you it's the 4K disc. But we'll remove the discs just so we can have a good look at um, the complete artwork. That is really, really awesome. So this retailed for 35 British pounds, which is probably about 40 US dollars, maybe 45 US dollars, sort of around that off the top of my head from the currency converter, um, which is quite a lot of money really for a 4K disc. I think the standard 4K version of this film is around 20, 25 pounds, which is around the average for a new 4K release. Um, really, really love this film. I did a video of as soon as the film come out reviewing it so I'm not going to talk too much on the film and make this video drag on I mostly want to talk about the actual 4k transfer itself going forward as I pop the disc in and talk more on that um, but the only thing I will say on the film is that I absolutely loved it and um, I, I enjoyed it a lot more than the, the first one and I really loved the first one as well really excited to see where they go with this series uh, in the third film so yeah let's have a look at some of the quality we've got here on the 4k disc okay so i've watched a few minutes of the film now i've gone through some of the scenes and i've paused it at a particular moment here in the film i'm going to show you a few more stills as i carry on talking unfortunately i can't show any actual video footage of the film otherwise i'm going to end up getting a copyright strike from paramount and i don't really want that but you'll get a good example of some of the 4K transfer as I show you some of the stills here. Um, overall, from what I've seen, the transfer is very impressive. Very good attention to detail here. As you can probably already see just from this still here, which is seen quite early on in the film. And I haven't already stated yet, but for those interested, um, the 4K disc does have Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. So if your player and TV can support that, you will be able to get that out of the disc as well. So here's a scene with Sonic and we've got a particular darker scene, although this is daylight scene in the film. And so you can see the daylight there from the window in Sonic's room, but it's actually in a dark room. So um, you can get a real good look of some of the transfer quality. Um, I do have an OLED television, which really gives a lot of depth to the darkness in a lot of scenes when you're watching it, but very much so on 4K films. Really impressed with the quality. You can really get some good detail out of Sonic there and see even some of the individual strands of fur all over his body. Here's another great long shot and you really can see some of the incredible detail on 4K transfers with these type of shots that are really zoomed back. You can see 
all this really great attention here on the trees and the ripples of the waves here. You can never see the pylon in it's, it's hard for me to show on a camera obviously recording the television but even the pile on there right in the back left you can see the detail on it. Here's another really good close-up shot here of Sonic and you can see some of that detail pretty much just after the scene I've already shown you but this is where he's been pulled out of the lake and you can see some of the water like dripping off of him there. Really great um, quality. I'm definitely impressed there. Of this 4k transfer film grain seems pretty much minimal i'd say it's kind of on the lines of organic film grain which is kind of like what you would normally get on a film transfer um doesn't appear that i've noticed any dnr which is digital noise reduction because sometimes when dnr is used on a film it can kind of make uh, things look quite blotchy but from what i've seen i've probably watched about 15 20 minutes so far um it's it's really good here we move on to another scene, really showcasing some of that awesome 4K resolution. Of course I had to show you some Knuckles and Dr. Robotnik. You can really see just how the red stands out on Jim Carrey's coat. That is literally popping out of the screen. And all of the detail in the, um, in the jungle that's around them there. Really, really awesome stuff. And I think there's one more scene I'm gonna try to show you guys and then I'm probably gonna leave it as that. Okay, so I wanted to end it on a particular dark scene so you can see some of how well the 4K transfer does uh, on OLED. Um, the camera's having a little bit of a hard time picking up some of the details because it is a dark scene, um, but you get a pretty good look here of Jim Carrey's Robotnik. Um, I don't think this is a particular spoiler too much for the film because this scene pretty much was in the trailer anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the green glow in there on uh, Jim's coat and he's got kind of like a blue mist behind them which is what the camera's kind of struggling to pick up. But he got some really cool details of all the equipment behind him as well. So yeah, overall really, really awesome. Um, if I had to give the 4K transfer something out of a 10, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 to be honest with you. It's a really impressive transfer. Um, I really can't afford it. As I've said, I've done maybe 20, 30 minutes of the film now looking for it and it is brilliant. Um, if you're on kind of more of a budget, the Blu-ray probably is a, a safe bet as well, I'd say. It's it's not going to look too vastly inferior and um, that's going to be easy and accessible to pick up. It'll be around the £15 mark. But if you want the ultimate best experience with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, then the 4K disc is what you're going to want to get. Um, a little point of interest, I am using the PS5 to show this, and the PS5, at least currently, does not support Dolby Vision. So the picture quality might be slightly different if you're using a player that uses Dolby Vision. The Xbox Series X, for example, does um, uh, allow Dolby Vision. Otherwise, that's pretty much everything I've got to say about the film. Um, the film itself, as I've already said, I'm not going to talk about it much, is brilliant, and if you're a Sonic fan, you're going to absolutely love it. The film's about to hit Japanese cinemas, and there's a lot of people out there that are really excited to go see the film for the first time. The advertisement I've seen out of it out there is absolutely awesome. The Japanese don't hold anything back when it comes to advertising stuff. It looks really, really awesome. So, yeah... Go pick up the film if you haven't already or maybe you've already bought it digitally which is awesome too and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching this video guys i really really do appreciate it got some new material coming soonish so keep an eye out for that enjoy the rest of your week take care of yourselves and see you soon